Aries, hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for May 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Biggest apologies, the last couple of weeks, I'm just going to say it, have been absolutely shit. <laughs> um, things were pretty downhill. I got sick and it all went downhill from there. So um, I am back, <laughs> hopefully. My voice is even still quite croaky. I go into coughing fits, but um, I think I've missed about three weeks of weekly readings. So we'll get the monthly readings done first. And at the end of the week, hopefully, we'll, we'll start, by the end of the week, I mean the weekend, um, we'll start uploading the weekly readings again. Bearing in mind, I now go to New Zealand for two weeks, so I will be doing them and trying to get them ahead so that I can still upload them in time for you. Because my time for the last few weeks has been, as I said, pretty crap. <laughs> so... Anyway, this is for you guys, not me. So let us begin. So Aries, May 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Aries. Let's Okay, so overall you do get the Ace of Wands. It is reversed here overall for the month. This is talking about possibly missing some sort of opportunity that may be there right in front of you. It is just saying to have get that focus, open your eyes. I'm going to say, what is it? Open your eyes and smell the coffee, smell the roses. I like roses better than coffee. Um, and yeah, but not wanting to miss an opportunity here that may be actually right in front of you. I do clarify everything shortly. Present energies, you do get the King of Cups. It is upright here. Love that. Being in control of your emotions. Crossed with strength upright. May have a connection to a Leo here, but at times it takes a hell of a lot of strength to actually keep those emotions in check and um, not let things run away with you. That makes sense there. Strength area, you do get the Six of Swords upright. This is talking about the plans that are being put into place to get things moving forward, but without everybody, every Tom, Dick and Harry wanting to know about it. Or maybe they do want to know about it, but you're not prepared to let them know about it. This may be like going for a job promotion. It may be moving to another town, another country even, even to another love. But there are some solid plans that are stay, starting to be put into place, and that action is being taken to get things moving in a forward direction. Love that. Focus area, it is the Two of Swords, it is reversed. feel like there may be a bit of confusion around a decision to make, and again, it may be because, easier said than done, while this opportunity may be right in front of you, it's not always so easy to see that it is there and where or where some sort of opportunity can actually take you to. And with that two of swords reversed, it is starting to get some clarity here to make a clear decision on what path you are heading towards. In your past energies, you had the Ten of Cups. It was reversed. Um, I feel like in the past things weren't as, I'm going to say as well, weren't as rosy as they appeared to be. I feel like you may have been putting on a bit of a front in the past, but deep down, um, I'm going to say it, you just weren't happy. And this is this whole shift of energy here where um, this whole decision is being made to get things moving and get things back on track. Incoming energies, um, it is the moon, it is reversed here, may have connection to a Pisces, but not being able to see very clearly here what's in front of you, and that just brings it right back to this Ace of Wands overall for the month. 
um, when I clarify, I do try and get things upright because all my clarifications are done upright with the with the cards. So um, yeah, things may still seem a bit cloudy, a bit murky at the moment um, until that focus does come into like boom right there in front of you. Uh, what you need to know. <coughs> <coughs> Three of Pentacles, it is reversed here. Okay, so I'm going to say you don't need to do it all on your own. Um, I am one of those people that say, oh, yeah, you know, you can help. And then I'm just like, oh, no, I'll just do it. So I get this exactly as this Three of Pentacles upright, where you feel like you're doing everything yourself. You're putting the plans into place. You're having to take action and work on it. Um, in order to see any results coming in. But this may be a whole um, blockage of, of exactly what I just described, of where you feel like you just need to do it to get it done in your way and, and get it done correctly. <laughs> so um, love that really, because I do that. <laughs> um, hope, um, how others see you, sorry. Uh, two of Cups reverse. They see you as possibly missing an opportunity here when it comes to love. Now, this may be an existing relationship with some sort of new chapter. It may be um, an, um, an existing, I just said that. It may be somebody extremely brand new, someone you've got your eye on. But I feel like you may be a bit caught up in getting things back on track, that there may be a missed opportunity here. We will clarify again, as I said. Hopes and fears is the lovers reversed. May have a connection to a Gemini, soulmate, twin flame, somebody significant. It is reversed again. So again, it may be a feeling that you're having that life is passing you by and things aren't happening as they should be or as you planned. But again, clarifications to get that back on track because your final outcome upright is the king of wands. And this is about your dreams, about your goals, knowing what you want, who you want, and where you want to be, and absolutely just going for it. I always say legally and morally, but you are going for it. Okay, Aries, we made it through the <laughs> first stage. <laughs> so let's clarify everything here, starting with the Ace of Wands overall for the month. King of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, Nine of Cups. There is success here, and again, it's possibly right in front of you, but I feel like you're left sitting on the fence, hanging around, waiting for somebody else to make their mind up. This may be this whole partnership where you feel like you're doing it on your own, or have to do this on your own. And um, the success, it is there. The happiness is right there in front of you. It's just that one clear decision does need to be made and um, suddenly things may actually start to suddenly take off and by suddenly take off i mean like zero to 360 in five seconds love that present present energies is the king of cups upright wow the sun eight of cups the fall while you're in control of your emotions here um there's still nothing wrong with taking those chances taking those risks taking a leap of faith and seeing where it takes you. There is some sort of emotional detachment that's happening here um, in order to actually get things back on track. And I feel that is what is actually the leap of faith that you're taking, is to walk away from something or someone or somewhere that seems quite familiar to you in order to get things moving and get things happening here. May have been pretty stagnant, but... Um, you know, that detachment may actually lead you to all the brilliance, all the happiness in the world right there. Cross with strength here. Five of swords, seven of swords, five of cups. Yeah, and we're just talking about that stagnant situation. The two fives in the middle of the pack here is talking about some um, battle that you're going through, banging your head against a brick wall. There may be a lot of gossip, a lot of backstabbing, um, deceptive energy that is happening around you. It may possibly involve you, and it's causing a lot of grief, a lot of sadness. And this is just knowing there's still loving energy around you. And it is actually, as we said, getting this Ace of Wands overall back upright so that things can get back on track. 
So while you, yes, you're in control of your emotions here, I feel like you are realizing that things, you know, you've become a, I don't want to say you've become a bit of a stick in the, stick in the mud, is that the saying? When you're, when you're actually just literally day to day, living day to day and seeing where it takes you. And now I feel like the, the energy is starting to shift here where you're starting to focus on the future, plan for some goals here and take action to get them achievable. If that makes sense there. Six of swords in your action, in your, in your action area, <laughs> in your strength area. Mind fade. So six of swords and this is about that action. Wow. Double dose. You are absolutely ready to take action. That's why action was stuck in my head there. Six of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups. And again, even though you're in control of your emotions here, you are very hard working. It is still saying to focus on what else is happening around you because when you start to put these plans into place, you know, I'm going to say it, the best laid plans don't usually go go to plan. It doesn't always go boom, 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 there we go. Um, so it is still being aware of what's happening around you, but absolutely, things are starting to move forward here. Love that. Focus area, two of swords reversed. Yet the Hierophant, two of pentacles, princess of wands. So may have connection to a Taurus here, okay? But there may be a bit of peer pressure being put on you, which is why this decision is so hard to make. And um, it is just actually following your heart, following your beliefs, standing up and speaking up and saying your bit here, okay? Because things are starting to get back in control where you have been pulled in different directions because of this peer pressure. Even though you're still very compassionate, still very giving with your time, with your energy, um, again, this decision ultimately is coming down to you. Wow. Past energies, Ten of Cups, Aries. Reversed it is. Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Princess of Swords. And because of this, um, as I said, the bravado, putting on that front that everything is fine, but deep down you could sense that you weren't happy in the past. Things are now starting to come back into balance. You've been able to do some healing here and looking after number one. Always say you can't look after others if you don't look after yourself first. And you're ready for this next chapter and to get things moving forward. As long as things remain balanced, equal give and take if there is a partnership involved. Always say if you do all the giving, someone else is doing all the taking. And that may have been that case in the past, leading you to this burnout stage of needing to heal with that four of swords there too. So incoming energies, the moon reversed, yet the two of swords, judgment, knight of swords, slow down, okay, even though things may seem a bit darker and greyer at times, that moon is usually there to give you that clarity um, when it's needed, but to do that you need to take the blindfold off and see every path that is in front of you, keep an open mind, slow down keep an open mind of what path you are taking here because I feel like there is a whole shift of direction and um, this is just talking about not rushing into things and keeping keeping an open mind to where each path may lead. Okay Aries, what you need to know, three of pentacles reversed, four of wands, six of cups, two of wands, love this maybe a bit of focus here on the past and this is possibly either a reconciliation where you're going back to a past love a past town a past job um, but it's also talking about the focus that has been on the past can now stay in the past and you are able to refocus i'm going to say here towards stability and commitment you know what that means to you could be a marriage proposal moving in together meeting somebody new it may be getting a permanent job buying a car buying a home there's a lot of stability and commitment energy around to every single one of us and again this is talking about not having to do this on your own if you're working together with somebody in some sort of partnership but um 
don't let that past hold you back you've got this focus and that six of cups has popped up there for a reason that maybe there's a bit of um, focus on the past here when now it's all eyes forward two of cups reversed how others see you nine of pentacles knight of wands four of pentacles so that's success take it with both hands and run with it you can see that coming your way even though it's been a roller coaster ride i feel like now you're able to have that focus and you're determined you're confident <coughs> you're determined to stick this out and stay on board and saying that there is still something or someone that you feel like you're not able to release at this stage and this may be something from the past here with that six of cups there as well but this is just talking about now um, you've got this focus and that energy may start to slowly disseminate especially as the success does to start does start that was a bit of a stutter there does start to come your way right hopes and fears aries the lovers reversed justice the empress ten of pentacles i love that justice sweet justice I always say good karma good result for the hard work you've put in to get here okay i feel like deep down your gut instinct your intuition is kicking into gear maybe yelling and screaming at you here um to get this lovers upright the success the happiness the joy around home and family life things that are falling into place there may be some sort of legal battle you've been through recently where this justice is actually coming out in your favor successful outcome and your gut instinct is saying yes now let's get this next journey begun you are clarifying though the lovers reversed i want to say coming back here to this past somebody may be approaching you again a reconciliation and your justice may just be like hell no not going there with that lovers there as well but your final outcome aries king of wands upright queen of wands power couple absolutely right there when it comes to your dreams your goals the wheel of fortune princess of cups look at that love that bigger and better things you know what you want who you want and where you want to be you've got this confidence and determination to go after this there is love here whether it is around love love whether it's a job you love a home you love it could even be all of the above but ultimately that wheel of fortune is starting to turn in your favor towards your bigger and better things and i hope that is for each and every one of you so aries let's finish with what the universe says Oh, I don't throw them everywhere first. Nine of Cups reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. All reversed. And the universe reversed. Wow, what's going on here? So overall, ultimately, your emotional happiness around home and family life, the success that's coming your way, you want this universe to be upright, but with it reversed, it comes back to your present energies, those two fives each side of that seven of swords where you feel stuck in a situation. That is just the present energies here as this whole story does start to evolve and to shift and ultimately to come out with that final outcome. But there, um, I feel like it's stuck here at the moment for a reason, to be cleared up, to be cleared up properly, to be cleared up once and for all, and then that journey begins. Wow. So Aries, that's what I have. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next for the weeklies. See ya. Bye.